Hi, my name's Colin Jones. Um, I'd like to talk to you today uh, about some really exciting opportunities for uh, student learning which are happening here uh, at the University of Tasmania uh, in semester one, 2010. Um, <clears throat> we've got the new minor in commercialization which starts in semester one. And of course, we've still got the entrepreneurship uh, units which are continuing on um, from where they've left off uh, in previous years as well. Uh, some students in the first instance are saying to me, well, what's the difference between commercialization and the entrepreneurship studies? Maybe the easiest way to think about it is that the commercialization studies are very much more focused upon an idea and the necessary process that that idea would need to be taken through to potentially come to fruition. Whereas the entrepreneurship units primarily are very much driven from a perspective of personal development. Okay, So there's more focus on the idea in commercialization and there's more focus on personal development in entrepreneurship. There clearly are overlapping components between the two. We're still talking about people acting in entrepreneurial ways to take uh, new ideas to market. What we do, however, do is we recognize the fact that most of our graduates won't start a business upon graduation. So the entrepreneurship major over the, the past few years has become skewed towards saying, well, you know, if we can develop particular enterprising attributes within our graduates, and we can do it in such a way that they become quite embedded in the way that you actually think about um, the world that you live in, and uh, you know it helps you to gain you know a real sense of confidence about your ability to undertake particular actions. Then at a point in time in the future, under a certain set of circumstances, you'll actually have that capacity to be quite entrepreneurial going forward. Commercialization, on the other hand, says that the idea itself, well, it may be ready to go to market today. Whether you're ready to be the entrepreneur who takes it there or not, the idea itself, whether it's you or someone else, chances are the idea can flow through an actual process and come through. So what actually is that process? So that's essentially the difference, you know, between specifically focused on you as an individual and your development and the development of that entrepreneurial self versus this extreme focus on the idea itself and how likely it could be that this idea could actually come to fruition and actually survive and amongst all those other ideas. <clears throat> that are actually out there. So the first unit which is on offer um, in first semester is called Introduction to Commercialization, BAA 101. And essentially what we're trying to do there is give you a really good understanding of the challenges of bringing a new idea to market. We want you to be able to identify the important issues in that commercialization process and to be able to develop the knowledge and skills and the confidence as well to be able to pursue that idea. The unit itself will be very much focused upon, in the first instance, introducing you to a body of knowledge uh, and some really interesting and exciting ways of being able to work with that body of knowledge and to get you to sort of develop a really good understanding. In the last half of the semester, we'll move towards cases. And the case structure we'll use is very much based on the processes employed at Harvard Business School, uh, where we make the assumption that you actually have a body of knowledge that you can actually share with small groups of people to come along to the workshops and be prepared to fully engage in this case process. Um, there are no exams. So the units themselves are entirely uh, structured for you to be assessed on your performance within the workshop and your ability to interact with the other students. It very much is it's a lead on from what we do in the entrepreneurship program. Uh, we find that students like it because they can really take control and responsibility for their own learning outcomes and they don't have to worry about the stress at the other end. It's a very forgiving environment um, and they're able to sort of uh, find themselves in situations where they may actually fail in some respect of the process that we're trying to allow students to work through, but it's that actual ability to fail and to reflect upon it and to recover from it, which leads you to that process of success within the units. Um, you can get hold of me um, at the Australian Innovation Research Centre. Uh, my email is just colin.jones at utas.edu.au. 
uh, you can phone me on extension 7362. You can also keep track of the news that's coming out in relation to the commercialization <coughs> excuse me, unit via Facebook, uh, via MySpace, via Twitter. All you need to do is simply search for UTAS Enterprise, one word, UTAS Enterprise, on either Twitter, Facebook, or MySpace, and you'll find us, sign up. We'll obviously accept you as a friend, no problems with that. And uh, we look forward to seeing you coming along. It's, uh, you know, talk to some of the other students who have been doing entrepreneurship. It's very, very uh, similar approach that we'll be undertaking with the commercialization units. It's a very socially driven process. Uh, there's a lot of trust. Uh, there's a lot of friendships which get built up. There's a lot of fun to be had in this process of studying and ultimately what we find is that our students say, hey, I really got something valuable and useful out of doing this process. So I look forward to seeing you. Any queries, questions, by all means, come along and have a chat. Um, and we're really excited to sort of kick the commercialization minor off with the first unit, Introduction to Commercialization. The, the classes will be on Tuesday nights from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock uh, every fortnight, and we really can't wait to see you. Cheers.